I am in pain. Daily Madrid here, episode four, I believe it is. Real Madrid versus Shakhtar. Today's the game. Yes, today is Champions League match day one of Real Madrid versus Shakhtar Donetsk, Shakhtar FC, whatever you want to call it. And Real Madrid have lost 3 2 to Shakhtar Donetsk. Let me repeat that one more time. Real Madrid have lost to Shakhtar, the great mighty Real Madrid, that has won three Champions Leagues in a row, have lost to Shakhtar today 3-2. You must think I'm high or drunk. No, that actually happened today. Pain. Can't get enough. Pain. Leave a like if you know that reference. But that game was abysmal. Like, every game has been this season. Abysmal, awful, trash. Describe it what you want. Not good is what we're looking for what we're looking at I mean but the first half we were three nil down in the first half we were three nil down on paper when you look at our lineup we should have scored three not conceded three get this get this Benzema was benched and Jovic started I know crazy Zidane himself benched Karim Benzema to start Luka Jovic when has that ever happened Zidane has benched, benched Benzema. It's kind of a tongue twister. Never. Exactly. So you're thinking Benzema's on the bench. Luka Jovic is on the pitch. Finally there to prove himself. To finally score some goals. Prove that he was worth the 60 million euros. Nope. He looked like a lost kid on the pitch there. And Varane. Varane. If you saw my Real Madrid versus Manchester, versus Manchester City video... I got heated at him because he cost us the game. Well, today was no different because he scored another own goal. Bran, what is with you recently in scoring own goals and costing us the game in a Champions League match? Not a La Liga match, but a Champions League match. Was it because Sergio Ramos was out suspended that you only perform well when Sergio Ramos is right next to you as your partner center back? Well then, if that's the case, then your true colors have been exposed in Manchester City and now today versus Shakhtar. Varane is really not helping my case of me despising the French national team. Uh, hold on. What do I mean by despising the French national team? Yeah. Fill in the pieces. So yeah, uh, Varane, once again, cost us a Champions League match, just like he did against Manchester City. And Militao kind of did as well. He On the third goal for Shakhtar, you can kind of see, he was just jogging. Not even running towards the attacker, just jogging. You know, go ahead, score. Don't, don't mind, just score. Why did Militao start and not Sergio Ramos? Well, that's because Sergio Ramos was out injured. We wanted to rest him for the Clasico. That's Saturday, God pray for us. So he wanted to rest Sergio Ramos, and hopefully he does play Saturday because we are totally lost without him. Because keep in mind, the last seven times Sergio Ramos has not, or technically the last eight times Sergio Ramos has not started a Champions League match, we lost. Seven of those were losses. We've only won one other time when Sergio Ramos was not on the pitch. We thought we were going to have a hard time replacing Ronaldo. Sergio Ramos is going to be a headache. A bigger headache than Ronaldo. Ah yes, the three Shakhtar goals. It was mainly just sleepy defense. The second goal, Varane's own goal. It was like the... the I, I don't know their names. Seriously, I cannot be bothered to tell their names. To, uh, Tite, not Tite. But the second goal... The dude shot at Courtois, it bounced off of his hand, and Varane, he pokes it into his own net, 2-0, own goal. And the third goal was pretty much the definition of stretching out our defense, lone attacker in our box, tap in. That was just the first half. That was just the first half. We were 3-0 down. You think game's done and dusted, we are going to lose our first rail uh, Champions League match match day one. But then when the second half started, oh man. We had the ball on fire. I don't know what I said. But we were playing much better because the 3-1 Real Madrid's first goal came from Luka Modric. A curler from outside the box, 28 yards out, curls it top right corner. He's done that 
nothing average, uh, nothing different there. Mordrich is 35 years old. He can still score top bins. Xavi and Iniesta could never. So it's 3-1. Luka Modric curler. Nothing new there. 3-2. Vinicius gets subbed in for Luka Jovic. 16 seconds into his substitution, he scores. That really tells you something about Luka Jovic. It means that this guy right here, it hurts me to say this, he doesn't fit the system. Lubiovic was given the opportunity to take the hand, the game by his hands, to score a couple goals, to prove to Zidane, to prove to Perez that he was worth the 60 million euros today. He didn't do anything except misplace two headers. One on target, one not. So Jovic barely did anything. Vinicius gets subbed in for Jovic. 16 seconds in, Vinicius scores. That says something. Meaning either Jovic has got to go on loan, or he's got to go. So it's 3-2, Modric and Vinicius. We have over 30 minutes left. Can we get the equalizer? Let me tell you. Modric gets subbed out for Valverde. Don't know why Zidane subbed out Modric, but Valverde comes in. 91st minute corner kick. Cruz outside of the box, Valverde hits it. It goes in. We think... We have tied the game 3-3, but, but, VAR checks it. Vinicius was in the way of Valverde, shot by a slight margin. Goal stripped up from us, we lost 3-2. The referee screwed us over in the second half. With stripping away our third equalizing goal that should have stood, Vinicius was maybe a millimeter away from the ball. He didn't hit the ball, did he? Was he in front of the ball? A fraction in front of the ball. A teeny tiny bit of him. He flinched a little bit because he thought he was going to hit the ball. He was nowhere near the ball. So the ref screwed us over. We could have equalized, but the ref screwed us over. And also because he was not giving any cards or warnings to the Shakhtar players for time wasting. Those Ukrainian shitbirds. What I mean is you, uh, Shakhtar was time wasting. And the ref was just letting it happen. So... All I can say is that, in conclusion, we got dominated 3-0 in the first half by some Ukrainian club. Three goals in the first half. No goals from us. We tried. We ever so tried in the second half. We got two back. Could have had a third if the referee didn't screw us over. We're called Vardrid. But Viegar was against us. If you're wondering what I was pointing at, it's my... Real Madrid champions shirt. Side note, Shakhtar supposedly had 10 players out because of coronavirus. I want to say that's fake, but you can never know because coronavirus is kind of crazy. And another depressing fact, every time Modric has scored for either both Real Madrid or Croatia, the team has never lost. That streak is broken today. Yeah, can you believe it? Every time Modric scores, we never lose the game. Thank you, referee. Thank you. And it was such a nice goal, too. So yeah, that was pretty much how Real Madrid versus Shakhtar went. It was a shit fest. Zidane really has to watch what he's doing. Because we lose Classico this Saturday, which I will not be surprised if we do. His job will be on threads. He's already on thin ice right now because of Shakhtar. So Zidane has to be careful on who he chooses to play versus Barcelona. I say give Jovic another chance. You might call me crazy, but he didn't really do anything. He was really well out isolated. So Jovic didn't really do anything, but I say give him another chance Barcelona. Don't start him, but give him enough play time. For me, man of the match for Madrid, pff, was there anybody? I say either Modric or Militao even, because Militao did kind of screw us over in the first half, but the second half... Totally different defender. He was tackling the Shakhtar attackers like three times, dispossessing them like four times. He was amazing in the second half. Totally different player. So either Militao or Luka Modric because once he scored, he really got the team clicking again, which is amazing to see. So yeah, that was the game today. Next stop, El Clasico, FC Barcelona. Lord help us because I will not be surprised if we lose that game. But that's all for me. Uh, that's all. To, if it kind of had a stroke there. But that's all for me. To, 
that's all from me today, guys. I need help. That's all from me today, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. If you like football content, leave a comment down below. Content football. Subscribe. All the jazz. Next stop, El Clasico, a.k.a. FC Barcelona. Daily Madrid, out.